Hey there, welcome back. Uh, we're getting close to finishing this airplane. I'm happy about that. Maybe you are too, because <laughs> I'm looking forward to flying this thing. Um, so it's uh, a bright sunny morning. It's nice outside, but I'm inside. Uh, having my cup of tea. And finishing up this airplane. Okay, so um, we're going to put the gear on. And let's see what we need, okay? First off, I got uh, uh, three and a half inch wheels. You can see how much taller they are, a little, little taller. And I did that, I could have put a three and a half inch on that probably, um, although it might not have fit with both uh, wheel collars. The three inch wheel collar, the three inch wheel allowed me to put a collar on both sides. The three and a half inch wheel is a little wider and uh, would not allow that. Um, plus, the wheels that came with it, they wanted a smaller wheel in front by that about, about about a half an inch if you look at it somewhere in that range and so I put a little smaller wheel on on the front and the three and a half inch on the back <clears throat> I got two three and a half inch wheels a bag of stuff uh, and the last thing in my main gear there it is main gear bag is the gear itself so it's in some nice plastic that uh, you got to pull apart and uh, uh, get out. Okay, so um, now there's two nice axles in here, and I th I like these kind of uh, these kind of axles for wheels. Uh, the first thing you got to check is does the wheel spin nicely on the axle? Okay. And that spins very nicely. This one spins very nicely. We had problems with that on the next star because the next star uh, shafts weren't of the same caliber, quality, whatever. And uh, um, so I had to ring these out. Ooh, that one's a little tight. That's probably not the shaft's fault. That's probably the uh, wheel's fault. Okay, so. That one doesn't spin on either axle. That one spins nicely. Okay, this one does not spin nicely. Okay, so I'm going to get out my drill and, and ream it out. Be right back. Okay, got my calipers, got the shaft. I always like to measure millimeters because this uh, caliper is always very accurate. 3.96 millimeters. Uh, probably a 5 16 but I don't care. 3.96. So I want the closest without going over. It's like price is right. What's the closest price without going over? Well, it's 393. Okay, the 393 is a 4 millimeter bit and not a 5 16 because the 5 16 I think is uh, actually slightly over that. Um, so, um, the reason I know that is I've done this, <laughs> done this before and so I'm I'm going to probably always grab the 4 millimeter instead of the 396. And because this is a shaft that doesn't have anything on the on the end down here, I have to use, <laughs> I just have to use my nice new DeWalt uh, uh, drill. It really is handy um, to be able to use any kind of drill bit you want in a nice compact battery operated uh, situation and thank my son for giving this to me for Father's Day um, so um, I'm gonna sit here and ring this out turn it over ring it out again And what am I looking for? I'm looking for this thing to spin just like the other one. Okay. You hear that? It wasn't doing that before. Okay. So that one spins the same as that one. All three should spin about the same amount. Don't ream it out too much because then you'll get wobble. Um, well, so uh, let me see. Yeah, that's good. All right, so drilling done. Let me put my drill away, and I'll be right back.
By the way, if you want some really good metric um, drill bits, I got this on Amazon, and uh, it's a uh, Bovidix, B-O-V-I-D-I-X, Industrial Tools, and you got every size and shape of, of um, metric size drill bits. Sometimes you need a metric, sometimes you need the SAE, it's whatever's closest without going over. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, it's time to put the axle on the um, on the landing gear. By the way, this hole and that hole are the same. It doesn't go in this hole, it goes in this hole. <laughs> I didn't really do that. Or did I? Um, okay, so um, I've got a uh, 7, 7 sixteenths, um wrench and I'm going to use the closed end and I've got a uh, half inch uh, nut driver and so I'm going to put the nut driver on the nut put the wrench on the axle and then I'm going to uh, align it so that the uh, flat is um, exposed there we go. So that the flat is exposed to the side, not toward the top or the bottoms where you can't get at it easily, uh, especially at the field. And, uh, and you just tighten that down as hard as you can. Okay. Then you slide a, um, um, a wheel collar on. And make sure you use your seven seven sixteenths um, hex driver or Allen wrench or whatever you want to call it. They don't call them Allen wrenches, I guess anymore. I don't know who Allen was, but they're not called Allen wrenches much anymore. I guess you call them hex drivers. Okay, so you tighten one collar right there and slip the wheel on. Make sure it's spinning well. I don't grease them. I don't like to grease them. Um, there's going to be plenty of oil and grease on at least the one on the muffler side. and Because uh, I think they pick up dirt and uh, uh, it's easier to take them apart. And uh, take the wheel off. Wipe it with some uh, of your isopropyl alcohol that you're going to use to clean the airplane with anyways. Okay, make sure it's not too tight. Yeah, that's actually a little tight. I'm going to loosen that just a little. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that one's running well. I already did the other one. It's running well. Okay, and then we... Um, uh, I don't think there's a left and right to this. Uh, at one time I thought there was, but they are the same. They are absolutely identical uh, two pieces of metal. Uh, I don't think there's a left and right. Now you just um, put one in one side, one on the other. You've got a little spring button in there. And you got to make sure you wiggle it so that button is all the way up and they're not coming out. If you need to take it out, take a um, screwdriver and push it down in there. So, landing gear are all in place. Now I don't need my blue foam, but we're pretty much done with the inside, but not quite. Still a few more things to do. So that's the landing gear. Thank you very much.